This YouTube video was presented by Screamscape, your ultimate guide to theme parks. All right, we are here at the Gravity Group booth, and there's more than one person, so you can't bother me to remember everybody's name. I remember <laughs> Chad. Uh, let's go down there. We got Danny, and we've got Sarah, and this guy's Pat. What's up, everybody? You know me. <laughs> uh, so uh, we've got a new coaster here. Uh, Very different. Uh, and and uh, it's from a park I've never heard from before. Uh, Danny, it's your park? Yep, me and my wife. Uh, Sarah, should I tell you about the park? Yep, we are a, a, a park in Seguin, Texas, uh, which is just outside of San Antonio on the way to Houston. We try to aim at entertaining a wide age range so that the whole family can have fun at our park. We've only been around about seven years or seven and a half years, but we went from being just one building with five attractions, and uh, now this will be our third, 13th attraction. We have indoor and outdoor, wet and dry. So, That's really lots cool. Of What's fun the name stuff. of the park? ZDT's amusement park. It's named CDT's. after our three kids. Uh huh. All right. Oh, it's Danielle so cute. And Tiffany. Oh, so how do you guys decide that you're going to buy a Gravity Group poster? Um, well, Danny actually contacted him uh, with his idea, and Chad was um, just very down to earth, immediately approachable. Seemed like he was up for the challenge. In fact, it sounded like he kind of likes challenges, and uh, so he went with it. You know, he, he seemed like an honest guy, and you know, he, he started work on it right away. Very nice. And now, uh, well, I guess let's talk about it from there. They sure. give you the idea, and you run with it. Yeah. Well, uh, and it's quite an idea because this is something that we've never seen before. <laughs> well, it's nothing we had really ever thought about before either. And Danny, just you know, he he, he has this fascination with um, with the old switchback railway and the old Coney Island, the Marcus Thompson uh, rides, and and you, he kind of wanted to take that idea, you know, and and apply it to the modern. Uh, roller coaster and and so you know he said this and I said yeah we can do it and you know we, we were really racking our brains like oh, now we're, we're gonna have to design something to pull the trains up backwards and drop them and do you know and then we'll get a phone call and it's Danny he says you know what I don't think we're gonna do the, the, the shuttle thing it's like why not you know my son really really thinks that needs to have the, the anticipation build that you get with a traditional lift build okay and I said oh you know what, Danny? We kind of were thinking about something. We don't want to design all this, all these contraptions to lift the trains up backwards. We were hoping we could do this with a traditional lift hill anyway, and we already had been tossing it around a little bit. And so, what we end up with is something that's completely different because it's a traditional lift hill followed by a coaster that you go through forward and then backwards, and then there's a little transfer track after after you stop that sends you back into the station. So you don't go back up the the, the, fire, the first hill, the first drop, you don't go back up that. You'll go back up it a little. A little? Just a little. Right. You'll, you'll come back through some brakes, and you'll go up the first drop just a little, and then settle back into the brakes and stop. Nice. Very, and also, I, I love this being the small family park, because, you know, Disney World, they're not going to say, hey, my kid doesn't want this. Let's build something else. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's got really unique ideas about what kids like, and, and, and this proves it. We're ready for it. Awesome. And now, we can't talk about the ride without talking about the train, which is, of course, on display right over here. Very different look. Explain the look you're going for over here. Uh, you know, going back to the old uh, switchback, uh, that train, that locomotive. Uh, so we wanted it uh, to look new, but yet still rustic, uh, give it that old rustic look uh, from back in the day. And kind of basically said that, you know, gave that uh, to uh, Chad, the gravity group, and uh, kind of gave him some ideas, and then off the ball, there they go, that's what they got. I was going to say, and uh, we were talking with one of the design engineers earlier, and looking at the park from space on Google Maps, as we love to do, <laughs> and your park, it, it's a very... start every job. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Every project starts that way. Google and <laughs> it's, it's a very kind of small park. How did you guys decide, okay, we're going to put this there? Well, that was... Uh, that initial uh, call that I made to Chad and uh, kind of gave him, I had a tight spot. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think you really realize how tight of a spot. <laughs> yeah. But he was just, I can do it. Yep. He didn't know him. <laughs> but so once he looked at it, yeah, he, uh, he did it. Now, and we, we kind of knew just looking at what they had done uh, at other parks uh, that they could fit stuff in tight spots. They, they've done it on multiple occasions. So we, we already believed that they were up to the challenge. Uh, so yeah. And then one other thing I had to ask you about, it goes through a building here. Yes. A very old building? Uh, about 100 years old. Uh, I believe that was the, or, well, it's right beside the original. It was part of uh, the original downtown Seguin grocery commerce area. 
Uh, so there's multiple stuff going on there from uh, selling groceries to uh, livestock to uh, kind of like regional downtown Seguin. Uh, now, now how is that for you guys? Like, all right, we want to build it here, and then you're going to go through this 100-year-old building. <laughs> well, I mean, like, like Danny said, we, we have a little bit of a history of, of putting coasters in places where they shouldn't fit. And this was no exception. And, and actually, we, we tried doing it without going through the building. Uh, the, the first couple, well, what's, the first, what fun is that? <laughs> exactly. The first couple go-rounds, we, we didn't go through the building. And, and I was telling Danny, it's like, you know, this is it's not working. We, there's not quite enough room here. Uh, I'm not sure how to handle it, or what to do here. And he said, you know, just let's just go through the building. It's like, okay, that's awesome. And so, <laughs> and so you know, it, it was a it was a tweak that we made along the way, and and uh, and changed it so it goes through the building. And it's, I mean, it's just it's just one more crazy thing about this ride that I mean, it's going to be a sensory overload. I mean, it's, just, it's so small and it's going so fast. And you're going by so many things and in and out of buildings and overbank turns and up the spire and then you do it all backwards. It's it's going to be sensory overload. I think it's, it's so going to be really fun. So what we need really to fun. do is we need to get these guys on the podcast sometime to talk Absolutely. about the park. Absolutely. Because they were off air before we started rolling. We were talking about the park and uh, what exists there now. And since nobody's ever heard of it, we need to put it on the map. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you guys very much. Thank uh, you awesome guys. Concept. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Really excited nice about this. Y'all. And uh, just another reason that we have to get down to Texas. I know. That's reason 18 from yeah. the day. <laughs> Lots of big well, stuff. Well, it's reason one. And then yeah. The other, okay. The others yeah. are 2 through 17. <laughs> 2 through 18, right?